All right, sorry everybody, it's all back. Say something real quick. Hey, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh no, damn. No, I'm in the stream again. I know, right? It's kind of a good thing. Kind hey, boy, of. Run away! I'm in the stream. Oh crap. You know the benefit of of streaming it from the console, though. Even though I have the issue where I may or may not lose some sound audio, which I really hope I don't anymore. But you never it would, know. It would be a shame to lose audio, especially in this game, which is comprised of excellent music choice. It really is. And uh, large amounts of screaming from all sides. I love the voice acting. I love everything about it. I, I do have English on because I just feel like they're good voice actors. They should be... Uh... Yeah, they got good scream voices. Oh, that too. It's like G Gundam, right? G Gundam is my favorite character of all time. Chibity Crockett. Chibity Crockett, oh my the god. The of America. He really was. You know, when I think America and an American name, I think Chibity Crockett. Right. In order to save civilization from the never ending threat, the demigods who governed the world created the ultimate weapon that would wipe the, out the Golem. And face of the planet one for all. I'm not really in. I, I don't know a lot of Hindu mythology, sadly. In order to save the planet, they have to destroy the planet. Oh, heck yeah! You know, it's the classic uh, Sentai rules of combat. You know, you get in your giant mech, uh, and you utterly destroy the town, city, planet in order to save it for future generations. The Just first QTE is to press start. First of many QTEs. Get used to it. It is only this we done. This is a great opening. Oh, heck yeah. It kind of sets the stage. There's literally no reason for me to do this outside of just because. Yeah. If you walk into this game thinking, oh, this game is going to be super serious and not stupid wrong, you are, you are playing the wrong It's game. kind of serious, but not in the way you think it's going to be. Yeah, it's as serious as Joker. A very serious Oh, serious. Old, old Joseph can fight young Joseph. It's all kinds of messed up, but don't worry about it. But we're playing as Earth's Wrath. By we, I mean... You are. It's awesome. They definitely... They definitely make you feel, uh... Powerful. Even the QTEs, they really do make you feel powerful. You feel doing every single one of these QTEs. It's very weird because I, gen I generally, I'm not a big fan of QTEs like, at all. I think what helps for this game though is that so much of the QTEs and QTEs and QTEs and QTEs and QTEs Oh yeah, and the timing is... I mean, it's not super strict, but it's not super, you know, not strict either. The theme for good QTs in this game is you're getting your ass kicked. And you know, you know he's about to do something really stupid. Oh, hell yeah. There, there's a downside to some of the QTEs is that like there's an orange like the it's generally an orange QTE and if there's it's on the red background like that Goma was you better fucking believe it's kind of hard for me to see oh a vertigo warning to anyone who might suffer from vertigo this game is uh, it just messes with the perception of sons over and over again. Oh, yeah. It's gonna get a bit Faithful crazy. Of to say the least. Offer your also, there's a space battle. Uh, let's not do either. Tonight, the impure have defiled and scorched our land. But it is we who shall. 
shall live to see tomorrow's light. That's Little definitely really weird. <laughs> I just changed. I just put down the fan, and and like the, the screen went black for like a half second. I hope that did not show up on stream. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to think about it too much. Yeah, if it has, I'll tell you. You know, actually the funny thing is a lot of demigods and gods in Hindu mythology tend to change sides every time. Uh, Vamana is kind of one of them. But yeah, God, this game. This game is pretty as hell, and I would love to have one that's an actual game too, not just like a live-action anime. I will root out all evil with these great Proper Real continuation of this type of insanity, or at least a retread of this kind of nonsense. Well, yeah, I mean... Oh my god, what is that? This I, is I, super dumb. I, I think if Platinum Games got a hold of this, it would be absolutely amazing. Full, real character action. I mean, right as of, as of right now, the game is literally just playing... Uh, you're just playing out a... What is the word I wish to use? Why am I having trouble with this? You're playing out an anime. This is the True. God, if an if anime looked like this, I would be more willing to watch a lot of it. Yeah, if JoJo looked like this, I would I would have no, I would never this if this were Jones. The only acceptable end that you are allowed to watch without feeling guilt, sorrow, fear. Worthless scum! I'll kill Barely. I know, I'm, I'm punching all, all the dudes like super hard. First time! Anytime burst goes on the screen, you know something epic is going down. <laughs> and don't mind me if you hear excessive tapping, because you're gonna probably hear excessive tapping. So, these guys, ev everyone that's, you know, popping up, these guys are clearly not going to be at all the enemies we're going to see as uh, as we progress down through the line, right? You two should be concerned with the task at hand. Our comrades in arms. Oh sometimes I wonder if you know. They've, got, they've all got interesting names and personalities. They seem like your, your squad, your crew. Your best destruction. Olga is the only one with like the name vastly out of place here. There is no need for us to be on the front. Oh, yes. It is I, Olga. I come from an anime. Olga, you know I I am a Hindu god named Olga or demi god at this point. You may call me Olga. I am God of 
beautiful. What is this? Olga, no. Get out of here. You're supposed to be in Russia. Waste of Russia. Right. Huh? She even looks super Russian. Also, again, in Dota. The Burmaster? Mm hmm. But, Commander, it is not yet fully changed. God, could you imagine, like, Capcom All Stars? If they bring any one of these characters into the game, it would be amazing. If they even did a fighting game like that. I would love it if they did, but, like, like if they do a, a Capcom All Stars, they have to have somebody from Azura's rap, if not Azura himself. It would be nice wish, if they brought Commander. this back. Yes. Or at least acknowledged it to me. Fun fact about Azura's Wrath, by the way. Well, let's go ahead. It is made in the same engine that Street Fighter 4 was. It is running off the Street Fighter 4 engine, actually. Like, I know it's an Unreal Tournament and everything. But... It is actually the same system as uh, Free Fighter, which is which amazes me to no end. It definitely looks that there's this uh, it's this interesting pseudo cell shaded style. Right? You can't miss. It shows how serious we are. At least when it winning. zooms in close on the uh, character it And here's the main. Antagonist of, I guess, the world itself, Vitra. Huge. But yes, uh, especially with the shading, it is. That's the size of a planet. That is in the planet, actually. It's material already measured. Oh, heck yeah. No, it's it's they, the break most the, they break out the immeasurability index already. They sort of they sort of use that super fast as the game started. Mm -hmm. How can you measure more difficult people from now on? Well, you have to realize Vitra is the ultimate evil. So of course it's gonna be immeasurable. Wow. Yeah, it kinda looks like a huge asshole. Stand aside, I don't trust Get back. This, this thing that spews. Is that Energies. That's the only best way I can describe it. Just energies. Random energies. Naturally, the gods are fighting over who gets to kill this thing. Oh, of <laughs> I love this hero. Like, yo, bro, thanks for the help. Fuck you. Get dunked. Classic anime rival. Hey, I just saved your life. Fuck you, asshole. I was totally fine. You got in my way. Hell, there's dust everywhere. God damn it. Yeah, I, I was distracted. The sexual tension between these two characters is also immeasurable. <laughs> Everything is just going to be immeasurable. Asura. Father. So. I will say this thing. This comes it to a to a like this comes this whole story takes place over thousands of years because that's how long reincarnation tends to go for. Thousands of 
so much this. happens in the in this game's time span. It's ridiculous. Heck yeah, it does. Most of it, though, as you can probably tell, is you hang out with the crew, your best buds. Oh yeah, no, yeah. We're, we we never. Azura never gets mad. Ever. Ever. Not from this moment on. This war ends now. This is all like this is basically the epitome of a buddy cop. What you think about? Yeah, Azura is this good guy. Good guy, get down, but he's gotta get him. He's gotta get him down. He can't help himself to get him back. Because he can't help himself to get him back. Classic anti <laughs> I can't believe I messed up that QTE, the, the rotating one, but I guess I did. Oh fuck, it's all good. I'm bad at the at the perfect timing. Oh, I know, I know. It, it is intentionally hard, but when you get a perfect, God, you, you love that perfect. Heck yeah. No, sir, please. The game has only started. Oh, hey, that's great. Battery for controller one is low. Alright, let me find my thing. And I'll hook it up directly. To my PS triple. Hopefully, you know, QT doesn't happen in the during that time. I uh, that's the thing I'm worried about right now. I mean, it's possible if it does happen, no big deal. What troubles you? Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Resume game. <laughs> I could not kill it. There we go. No one can kill Vlitra. You should be grateful you were able to subdue it. We have suffered more casualties than ever, but it will not be back for a while. You should rest. Due to General Asura's efforts, Vlitra has subsided. So here's the idea that Vitra is... Well... Unkillable. It is a it is an inevitability and can only be subdued. Hey Ben <laughs> You must halt the production leader. As much as you can. Regular maintenance against Vlitra is very, very useful. It very much so. So, yes, and fill my, fill your controller with the, with wrath and or mantra. <laughs> Total rank, suck. S. S. A. Woo! I S rank that. I don't even know how. But you go failed me. none of the QTEs. You survived the entire thing. I failed the QTE. That's why my synchronization rate's only 79% instead of 100%. A new video has been added to, to the extras. That's good. Yeah, it's probably going to be things like this. Um... I don't know... I, uh, you can watch the, uh... If you want these, you can watch them in... Uh, the YouTube. All you have to do is... Pause.
but I will stay on here just long enough that if you want to pause, you may want to. These are super beautiful too, like, oh my god. Yeah, they've got a lot of really good talented artists for, uh, over at Capcom. And yes, Ben, they had to put white text on a dude with a white armor. Could be worse. So, to recap, bad guys are like, oh my god, Asura, his daughter's like, totally the bomb diggity. And that, that is essentially the plot from, from now on. It actually is. No, she, Priestess she Mithra is lent her power to the Shinpoku army, and all of Gaia rejoiced at the victory over Vlitra. But this time of celebration did not last, for in the shadows of victory, the wheels of betrayal had already been set in motion. One that would shake the very foundation of Shinkoku. Shinkoku. So, yes, this plays out literally like... Like an anime. On the next episode of Azura's Wrath. The only thing that it's missing to make it more of an anime is long introductions that are essentially landscape shots one after the other oh you say that <laughs> it's okay the characters aren't standing around doing nothing with uh, with wind in their hairs it's fine Fair it's enough. okay, I'm not owned. Not yet. Mm. Shit. <laughs> Asura! Well, fine. I'll accept that you Father. are playing an anime. <laughs> wow! Ben, you're gonna leave me for dropping a bomb diggity? I, I'm hurt. You're safe. Oh, yeah. Home. Would you r rather me just go and say, stay golden, pony boy? Because I, I could say that. I'm well read. And by well read, I am I mean I am forced to read crap that I did not want back in high school and and earlier. I wonder you with a medal for defeating Vlitra. She's right. You mustn't keep the Emperor waiting. All right. Alright, give me like one quick sec, guys. I'm gonna have to pause it right here. I might be back in five. Okay, I am back. I not as hurt as you were, Ben. I am sorry. Uh, I do apologize. It seems that I had to a answer a question of which, like, I got sent a picture because uh, my brother's trying to answer a question of like which. Follow me. Oh my goodness, Zagel Wolf! Thank you for the follow. Basically, it's like somebody with a three pulley system. Like, at the very end, it's 20, 40, and 60. And it's like, which one will be lifted first if you pull this pulley system? I was like, uh, the 60? Because it's first in the line? This sounds like a strange questionnaire. 
It very much is, and I have no idea. I am I am what you call not a very smart person. Alright, so now we're gonna go into full combat. No! There must be some mistake! Eventually. I think this is. Yeah, in here we have to go. I think we start combat in this area. I don't understand. What the hell's happening? Part 1. Suffering. Yep, there we go. Asura! You traitorous girls! No. They are... It like, it's both me. Buddhist Silence! and like... Enough of your lives! I shall purify the likes of you Buddh myself. Buddhist and Hindu, which you. are two separate things, believe it or not. Release! Okay. Seems as though back in the beginning, it's such a thing. They just sort of. They just sort of feel. Feel trip after it because he's running away. Oh no, this, I mean, well, you have to remember. They were. They made specific. Uh. Uh, you know. What's the word I wish to use here? Assertion! They made specific assertions. Uh, this is going to be a. Uh, uh, like treason! Treason and treachery abound. Plot currently reminds me of Monho Dishonored. Uh, you know, I guess so, a little bit. Y'all yeah. should play Dishonored. Really good game. Dishonored, it's, I have not played it, but it looks so awesome. I've been watching an LP, but I'm like, I want to play this myself. It's made uh, by this. Are one. you watching Robokai's LP of it? I do believe so. I'm watching the Clean Hands one. Oh. They're both really, really fun. Uh, it's super good. Folks, yeah. if, if you don't know anything about Dishonored, uh, I believe I've spoiled the first ten minutes of it. So, you know, just saying. Yeah, it's not... the. With a name like You're not Dishonored. Missing anything. More or less. Uh, still got it in you. Let us cut to the chase. Sound effects are pretty overwhelming. Alright, um, I will nudge my volume up. Oh crap. Let's, uh, let's first go here. Properties. Um, game volume will be brought down a lot. That should work. Haha. -ha. Gotta wait for it to uh, reconstitute itself now. Because that's that's the way the Elgato crumbles. Right now, it's, uh, oh, I see it popular. now. Yeah, um, it just uh, just started doing that on my side. Okay, uh, one to one mode. Okay, no, that's definitely not what I want. Scale to fit. What the heck? Position inside. Fit the screen. There we go. We'll we'll find out. Let let's have it a.
Oh crap. Forgetting forgetting how to how to QTE now. Yeah, I was down I was like up to eighty percent and I went down to forty, so maybe maybe not a good idea to go that low. Sounds not too bad on my side. Okay. Well we'll 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 let it run a little bit. Yeah, before if you need uh, some adjustments yeah cuz i mean we literally just did it so How's that? Is that is that sounding better though right now? Let me bring my volume down just a little bit. Cuz I feel like I might be a little too loud now. I don't really want to clip cuz I really hate clipping. There we go. That should be better. Gotta love how Azura makes an entrance. Okay, yeah, I figured I might be a little too loud. Let me readjust. Alright, properties. Let's go a little higher. There we go. Do, 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 do. Custom resolution, no. Uh, The interlacing definitely not. But I, I am better now, right? Like my my volume and everything should be at least good. At least one would hope I, that I am good. Alright, let's let's try things. Let's go. Fit the screen. It's really weird that it goes, it keeps not it fitting the screen. Continuously go all the way back to. Yeah, it does. The screen. It, 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 is, it is the cruelest fate. So, this, I'm, I'm hoping that everything is okay now, that I'm not too loud. And that the uh, game is not too quiet. Azura's not <laughs> Basically, Azura and the no good, rotten, really bad day. Azura's bad Tuesday. Good, good. I'm glad that it's better. I still don't understand how everybody. Your death shall be the foundation of my world. Man, 
I can't believe that Azura got betrayed by Ganondorf. Right? I know! Ganondorf looks to be the man here, really. Yeah, he looks like a, like a cool bro, you know? Like a best friend. Sure, he might have been a jock at some point, but now he's a professor. Mm -hmm. Now he's betrayed us. Just like... Just like Sam from Resident Evil and other characters who may or may not have been in Street Fighter 4. Mm -hmm. Can you guess what this bad guy's power is? Could, could you possibly fathom? Thunder. Clearly it's not. Uh, probably. No, I'm not saying every every enemy has an elemental ability. Let her go. I said let her go. Although some clearly do. There's one character whose element is huge. I will yes, the element of huge. Power of being large. I like that idea. Suzuku. To be continued. My sink rate will be horrible, horrible, horrible. Yep. Total rank A. There was like less than a minute of combat, though. There was less than a minute of anything. <laughs> I know. Look, it's because I got hit a couple of times. Need to be more. Proactive. It's not just that the man has fire powers. The man also has regenerative on regenerative. <sighs> help! Help me out here. Regenerating arms. He can regenerate his arms at will. Oh yeah. He is Hindu's Wolverine, if you will. <laughs> Known as the Eight Guardian Generals, they led the Demigod Legions against Impure Goma, uh, bringing peace and prosperity to the world. That is actually the picture of Azura. That, that is what people see Azura as. He's... Oh, yeah, actually. And, then, and even the text has it. Actually, I think this is, uh... I'm almost certain this is the lore behind Azura. That, like, he didn't like anything and he kind of... fought with everyone. And it... But it's been a while, so, you know. Azura's element, being that he is always mad. Oh, yeah. Look at that art. He is so angry all the time. Mm -hmm. And all the other gods tire of this anger. They can only handle so much mad. Labeled a traitor, with his wife killed and his daughter taken from him, all he has left is his wrath. Refusing you know, to die, I do find Asura that interesting. Wrath is in always portrayed as fire. There, a like small fire mysterious element. spider appears and begins to guide him. Spurring Asura to make his way back to his world. Rage, so it's only fair. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's very true. Let's go to the next episode, shall we? You know, one thing I like about video games more than movies is that they generally have a consistent volume, and movies generally don't. You mean like a, a literal audio balance for North? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, that is kind of weird. Generally why I watch movies with subtitles now, because I don't really care for blasting my stereo anymore. We're getting too old. Our hearing is going ever Awake so slightly. Last, are we? Also... Nice, it's it's well, that thing from from Dragon Ball. An anime. Oh the 
Well, you have to consider that Journey to the West was... Uh, no, actually, that was Chinese. It wasn't Hindu, but... Who are you? It, still, it's... A, Good question. They... You know... They did, uh... What is the word? Borrow. Heavily, heavily borrow. From, uh each other, so... And the original Dragon Ball was literally Journey to the West in, like, different ways. That's it. Up you go. Yes, there is a reason why you must continue to climb, isn't there? You may have forgotten why, but the flame inside you still burns. That's it. Keep going, Hasara. And that's pretty much kind of the afterlife. It's not completely the afterlife, but it's kind of the afterlife. These are our enemies. The Impure Goma. Yeah, it's Buddhist hell. I thought it was Hindu hell, Let's but yeah. Not Naraka. Oh, oh, he's, he's, he's moderately dull in combat. And that's why we put it on, uh, so we do not hardly. That's that's the one upside. That easy mode exists, and is frankly the best way to play this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot about the dash attack. borrow certain elements from each other. So, you know, none of it is stealing if you mutually inspire each other to create myths and legends and other things. Oh, definitely. And eventually down the line, one would become, similar to Eden, the great thief of all sorts of different themes, motives, uh, motives, motifs, and uh, legends. No, whichever one that is, I won't say. But just a reminder, English pretty much is a, a stolen language. And it's one. It takes the best and worst parts of certain other languages. Well, we used to be case sensitive, and thank God we're not anymore. We used to practically be a completely different language. Oh, get hit by an enemy. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Stop just trying to hit me and hit me. Wow, holy shit. Actually, no, yeah, stop just trying to hit me and just hit me. There we go, the evade. I forgot that gun that But even a monkey can do it. Oh, press the correct on-screen prompt right before an enemy attack to issue a counter attack. Oops. I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm just beating the shit out of it because I'm a horrible person. I kind of wish you could do this with almost every attack. It feels like having a counter would be good. Don't get distracted by multiple enemies. So, like, initially Buddhism is more of a philosophy than it was a religion, but then they decided to make it a religion, too. Buddhism is split between two 
or at least at the start, was split between two different sects. In fact, there are two different versions of the Buddha. Uh-huh. One jolly fat man and one introspective thin man. It's weird how that sort of worked out. I I do appreciate how um what's the word how generous these hitboxes are Not stopping, you just gotta. I'm, I'm waiting for your butt. I do believe on higher difficulties, these are act, these take a little bit more shots. Generally, the, you know, the attacks, the attacks that... Like they said, attacks generally generate the uh, unlimited gauge. The best thing to generate most of the unlimited gauge is doing those downed attacks. It tends to really... idea before you go and use those QTE prompts to just go and uh, inflict some damage before doing anything. Let's see, there's several different types of Buddhism like the Pure Land or Esoteric. What you tend to find is that Buddhism is also uh, synchronistic and it borrows and merges with a lot of local faiths. Bon in Tibet, Hinduism in India, Taoism in China, Shinto in Japan, and so that where you see a lot of religious aspects of Buddhism it kind of kind of picks up with the other faiths as it as it spreads. Ah, fair enough. Oh, got an excellent! Damn, three in a row. Look at me go. Uh, why, why is it that, like, te like always the teacher has to go and give, like, a huge-ass headbutt to the, to the student? It's a good reward. Getting your head be headed in is, is perfectly acceptable for teacher-student relations. Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess so.
Ben, there are other ways you can show yourself to be a gigantic nurse. Don't forget, that was just one of the smaller ways you could have done it. Oh, yes. The largest way you could do it is by proclaiming that AD&D &D is the best D&D &D you could ever play. I like AD. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Wasn't, like, AD&D so crazy that they're like, you know, we're just going to do a do-over. Back in the day when they decided the best way to calculate whether or not something hit is to have a... Uh, sort of minus one number with another number instead of, you know, just having basic I could, I know what I could do, I could up the volume, pop up the volume, pop up the volume. Can he... Oh, there's, there's absolutely no much. Oh no, I've already pumped up the volume. But Man. I'll probably have to reduce the volume of uh, these guys, uh, of the Elgato. All things considering, right? Fair enough. Fair enough. Traitor! Shut up! Which I will do right now. Bring that down. I hate that it has to go dark for like a good maybe do we even know how long it goes dark but it does go dark that's what counts there we go fit the screen it goes dark for a while that's that's the thing there we go now say something I suppose I could start talking, you know, if you want. What else is there to talk about? This game is bananas. It's crazy. Yeah, you know, I have Planescape Torment, and I should really freaking play that. I, I haven't even gotten out of the starting area. It's a slow start. Um, like, I literally haven't gotten out of the... Uh, the necropolis, or yes. what it's called. Yeah, I was gonna say necropolis, but it's not It's not really a necropolis. It's a fantasy necropolis, so they have to change change it to something else. It's it's where they stick the dead people. Yeah, to to make them truly dead, they seek oblivion. That's all I. That's all I remember is that. I mean, Plains, Planescape Torment, good ass game. Um, the start is not so good, but um, when you get past that, you know, it's it's fine. Oh, for sure. I bet Planescapes is a slow start, but, you know, that's okay. I... 
I've never been one to shy away from slow things. You don't get a third character for potentially a very long time. Potentially. You sort of have to finagle your way with the third character. And you don't get a resurrection spell unless you die, uh, or just head back to the starting area. Huh. I didn't. I didn't know that for a very long time. So that was that was that was fun to learn. I, I had to bitch to the skull to to be an attacker. He's like, I just observed him. Like, no, you're gonna fucking help me fight. And he is really good. He's like one of the tankier characters in the game. The skull is? Yeah, he's he's a really good character. Nice. He's so, got yeah. a really good story too. Also, Azura's, twelve thousand years. Azura's Wrath, much like every other game, or or actually much like every other Indian uh, story or uh, Hindu or however you want to like, you know, the religious sect of, sect of the time. Uh, Everything takes place in thousands of years. Twelve thousand years is generally the the overall um, accepted time, I guess. You know, like like things can go like, oh, this happened twelve thousand years, and then twelve thousand later, years later, this thing happened. And it's very like because I'm reading Journey to the West, and it's a very hard read to start for multiple reasons um, and a lot of it is just due to the storytelling because it's just like oh hey uh, this happens 12,000 years later as this happens I'm like it's just swaths of time just just cut I do appreciate a good story that manages to cut out large portions of time and really have it work out for the best. Well, I mean, to be fair, a lot of the it stuff... It works with they... gods. It works with gods. Well, yeah, a lot of the stuff that they're talking about is kind of superfluous, sort of creationist stuff, but, like, at the same time... Like, like if you are already familiar of the area and the religion, I don't think you need to retell the, the creation. time and time again, right? I mean, I guess you could reference it, be like, during this period, uh, the the monkey Sun Wukong, blah blah blah. But it, it I'll, I should read it one day on stream, just be like, just, yeah, let's, let's read uh, Journey to the West. Well, I could change in 12,000 years. If you don't believe me, why don't you go see for yourself? You know, this time skip makes a lot more sense than all the nonsense time skips that Bethesda After does with Fallout. Forward, I'm on to you, Bethesda. You still can't write for shit. Years have passed. The world he knew was I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't mean to bring changed. Fallout in. I just get so mad when I think about what they did to Fallout. Oh, no. I, I, I am not a fan of Bethesda. Or just play Enslaved. You know, I'm not a huge fan of Enslaved. I'm really not. I should be. Because I love everything that's Journey to the West related. But God, Enslaved is just... For one, it's buggy as hell. Oh, but Andy Serkis is in it. I mean, come on. I have no What's idea who that is. What's there to not love about Andy Serkis? And yeah, he, he is in that game. I almost totally forgot about it. The canned food is still good, and pre-war money is still also good, and worth something for some reason. Also, the city, after 200 years, is still a bombed out mess. And super mutants are there for no reason, and they serve no pl- Oh my god, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Yes. Shit! And it happens all the time. I don't even control it. I oh, oh, you're talking it. about Fallout. I thought yeah. you were talking about Enslaved for a second. I was just like, like, dude, I haven't finished that game. Oh, I wasn't spoiling it. I don't even know nothing about Enslaved. I know Enslaved? Andy Serkis is in it, though. Enslaved is kind of... The combat's not that great, to be honest. The combat is... 
is what I would probably call bad. I mean, thankfully, I don't... Like, is it on PC? Yes. Oh, okay. If it were just on consoles, I would have just said, uh... Well, you know, my PS3 doesn't work anymore, so, you know, I don't have to worry about not, not getting it. I mean, it... Like, the story overall is pretty good, because Journey to the West story is pretty good. But... I, I like how they start off with 12,000 years. A lot has changed in 12,000 years. And Asura's just like, You lying sack of shit! Literally nothing has changed. 12,000 years. You know, they just lacked a, a, a very proficient brawler. That's what they needed. They never replaced Azura. They never got, you know, they never decided to promote anyone, which... Actually, if you, uh... Funny you should mention, uh... Things. But, uh... Yeah, I don't... I don't have, you, have you actually played this game? Uh, I have seen large swaths of it, uh, years ago. Uh, it wasn't an LP, I just... I just watched a full playthrough of it for some reason. I was bored. You know, it happens. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Bethesda in general, because, again, they're not very good at writing, and their games are really not good. I have an issue when somebody says, oh, you don't get, uh, uh, uh like, Skyrim, or Morrowind, or, you know, the Elder Scrolls games, you don't get them because, uh, they're good. You get them because you could mod them. Yeah, I can go back to Morrowind, though, and put exactly two mods for that game. Uh, one of them being uh, bridges in a town, which help you maneuver it, and another being a very, very tiny magic re regeneration, which you would not have otherwise. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, no, Bethesda's not the best company. Um... They, in fact, they've only recently hired on new people because they've got a new office somewhere. So, you know, they spent games and games and games on the same engine with the same writers, with the same design philosophy. Nothing's changed. It's, it's a very sad state of affairs. Oh, that I don't doubt. And now look at Fallout 4, barely anyone's playing it, still. Because they're waiting for Black Isles to make a new one, a.k.a. Obsidian, because they're freaking great. God, and they're so good. But I don't think they'll ever get the Fallout um, contract again ever since New Vegas, because... But it was good. Yeah, it was, but... You, you they, know... They made, in a shorter amount of time, a Fallout game that Bethesda could not even conceive of oh, in I know. double the time. Oh, I know. You know, and here's the thing, like, Fallout 1 was the start of the California Republic, the new California Republic. And uh, number two was you helping it grow, and number three yeah. is... You, you do some weird spy skulking around um, California which is super messed up. And but, then Fallout 3 is a whole series of question marks. Uh, okay, I, I consider uh, New Vegas to actually be Fallout 3. I agree. Wholeheartedly. It's... But let's pretend for a second. Fallout 3 is the actual sequel to Fallout. It's not, but yes. Let's, let's pretend. You know, it's it's difficult in this context, but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, it takes place in the East. Uh, super mutants are there for literally no reason. Um, they they literally have zero story purpose. Brotherhood of Steel is there because 
that's Fallout thing. And uh, yeah, mechanically the game's garbage. Yep. Oh, and the story is trash. And the Enclave uh, wants to steal a water purifier for reasons. They're not evil reasons. Go, my crusher. <sighs> God. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't, be I can't believe some nerds think it's the greatest game ever made of all time. Honestly, like I, I just have strong opinions about Bethesda. They killed a lot of things, and I don't really care for them. And they've ruined a lot of things. That Fallout 3 doesn't even have a war elephant to fight. Look at you fighting this war elephant now. Uh, oh, Soon. not yet. Soon. It is, it is a creature of conflict. E eventually, eventually. But I do believe we have one fight to do. You know, it's hard to tell if people really know what's going on here. Like, is this... Is this, like... How, how, do, I, how do I describe it? Like, like do, do, does he... Is he a part of the conspiracy? Or does he believe that Azura is actually the traitor? It's hard to tell. Maybe he he's his mind is too wrapped up in being huge to really comprehend why why such a conspiracy would be created. Maybe he just doesn't understand. Him and his large arm. Yep, they changed. They upgraded from demigods to actual gods. I like that this is. I could do this at any point, and it's a really good idea to. Like, I mean, you really would like to hear all the exposition. But you gain burst meter, which is way more important than the exposition. That's one of those things that they do in Doom 4 as well. Doom guy doesn't care for your story. When when story happens, he just doesn't care and does his own thing. And you know, it's beneficial to you because who cares about story? When you can fight. Yes. I still, I, I enjoy the animation of Azura just reeling back and... And you know, just readying a punch because what's more badass than that? Nothing, I would, I would argue, actually. Nothing is more badass. So basically, for those that are wondering, like, where where could where could this boss meter be? Where like there is no boss meter. There's no bar health bar or anything like that. The burst meter is technically the boss's health bar. Shit. I mean, it makes sense. All these people are technically immortal. So you can't you can't even kill them. Azura can be killed. These guys can be killed, but again, it has to deal with the burst meter. The burst meter is technically the the four, the life bar of 
of a form of a deity. All, or the push the plot forward button. The make enemy large button. He is not at his largest yet. He is no, he is huge. not. He is huge. He is a large man. But he still has various other levels of huge. Yeah, I don't know. There's there's a few deities that you know for a fact know something about Azura not being a traitor. But it's just hard to tell which... Like, you know which ones do know. Deus, for sure. The weird, uh, old sort of monkey dude definitely does. It's just everybody else, it's hard to tell. To be continued! Yeah. Ah, uh, my sink rate. Only gotten, only getting A's. A's are not good enough. I need to get S's. My my 4.0 needs to go up to 112.0 with the S rank. Anyway. I think I'll do one one final one. I've been, you know what? Actually, I can probably do more. I've only been streaming for about an hour now. Although this is episodic content, it is you know, episodic. No one, no one would blame you if you if you called it a stream after you deal with Largeman. Yeah, I think I'll do I'll deal with Largeman first, and then um, I should probably not skip through a lot of this. No, I mean you know. I'm not sure when you fight Frank Largeman proper. Uh, I should probably look this up, so... I think it's this one. I hope so. Oh, just think of... Think of him, how... How powerless he would be! <laughs> Aug How do you say his name? August? Like, I guess it would be like Augustus, so August, yeah. There's no guarantees in battle, nothing's impossible. And he has a point. Now, one of the self proclaimed seven deities. Wizen is intent on sending Asura back to Naraka. His power is more terrible and fearsome. Oh my god! Served as one of the eight guardians Naraku! Like, the, the, from the Inuyasha, Asura. right? Like, Naraku, Naraka. Oh, play on words there, Japan. I get it. <laughs> Reader we Repulsa, time to make. Anime on this stream. I thought we weren't going to mention any anime. I'm sorry. Time to make my deity grow. Oh, Ben, you have, you have all the, the rights, chutzpahs, as they say, chutzpahs. I, I would love this to have actually been like an animes. So he's not even at his most huge, and already I feel actually a bit dizzy watching this. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> and 
I know what'll happen when he becomes his most huge. Um, because I just looked at a picture of it, and just looking at it sort of made me sort of super dizzy for a second. So thankfully, we're not at that stage yet, and I'm, I'm readying myself for when it happens. He's already a very large man, though. I don't Big, huge, large man. Frank Largeman. Very, very good at um, being a huge. Yep. He didn't even bother using the fact that he would grow 1,000 times his size to lose a bit of weight, you know, in his, his, his belly region. You would think, right? I guess he's a man who does not have body issues. I congratulate him. He's fearless. I, I actually... <laughs> Speaking of things about... You know, everyone talks about like, oh, you know how great it would be to like have... Oh. Uh, like a One Punch Man like video game this is pretty much one punch man this really is the closest you can get I mean you require a couple of punches here and there but in the end one of those punches does fuck him up oh heck yeah you'd have generally a better <laughs> that was unpleasant right Oh god, I could feel I could feel the discomfort as you were saying it. most important thing, of course, is you really do want to catch those missiles, because they're... Oh, I only got a good on that. I wanted to get an excellent. I don't remember if excellents play out the cutscenes differently or not, but I do know if you miss it, it doesn't... Uh... Yeah, the, the cutscenes play out as normal. It, you know, you just get a regular. Um, if you fail, though, well, you, you fail. So. Yeah. It is important to succeed. Very. But yeah, you always want to get a missile because that's going to deal the most damage. Well, again, you don't really do damage, you just try to gain burst. So, in this instance, damage is burst. And for some reason, you can't really burst unless you are on the ground. But he has to have good footing. Like that's it's for the best. To get the best possible punch, you have to start on the ground. Yes. After all, he cannot fly. I mean, he, I say that now, but he, he has great leg strength, so he can, in theory. You know, like, it seems like he's flying, but he's just 510% badass. <laughs> that, 
That button mash. Man, that button mash. That's one of the the most button mashy button mashes that you have to do too. So, you should probably look this, away from the screen. This I is the instance. This yeah. Is, this is... But you witness true huge. Mm -hmm. We've that, seen only regular large and extra large. I, I still, I'm still amazed that this like triggers vertigo for you, but I just, I oh, don't know. Oh, oh golly. Oh boy. I guess some people experience it in a different way, it's just... Oh dear. Oh, it's... Hmm. I know, 511%. I'm... I'm good with percentages. Hmm. Right, right here. This is the moment. So I... I... It's about to happen. Loading screen gets in the way, but it's about to happen. It's so cool. <laughs> oh god, especially with the new memes and everything, I kind of want to keep that picture. Oh, it's... oh... It's, I'll tell you later, because I'd rather not have memes. Do not incur the wrath of memes. memes right. I would never. Ooh, oh, there it oh, goes. Oh, I love oh, this part. Dear. I love this part. Plant those feet. Plant those feet. Yeah. You must fight the finger of a god. As long as the camera doesn't shift looking up, I'm okay. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not owned. Oh, god. Nope. Yeah, I, I would probably say look away from right now. I do apologize. Great goddamn cutscene. Holy shit. I love it. Oh, yeah. Where is he standing? Where is Largeman standing? He seems to be comfortably standing somewhere. I think being large enough, like, planet size large, I don't think you really care about stands. I think he just is. His you stand is the world. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm not sorry. I've got no regrets. <sighs> you bastards. <laughs> Oh, like I said, these QTEs, they make you feel strong. They really do. Like, they, they really want you to... They really push you into it. Oh! Oh, everything about this is just badass! Oh. <laughs> Earth is thrown off its orbit. Well, you know, they do say that uh, three-dimensional space is kind of one-dimensional, or one or two-dimensional. And everything, you know, has a gravitational flux to it. So if you're big enough, planet size maybe, do you really... Maybe you could just move. 
you know, Largeman should have probably considered moving his finger away. Probably. But, like, do you... If he did that, Azura would have said, well, I can't fly, so... I guess he's just gonna stay there forever. <laughs> Why are you here, Asura? Do you even know what you want? You have already failed once of living. You are a fool. I want to find somebody that ha that can do this style because I really want. I I just I love the style and I really want something I I similar to it. Mmm. Only got an A rank. Oh wow! I actually got an A rank of everything. Well, butts. You only got an A rank of killing a god. Nice, nice. But it is a hollow victory. Exit screen results. I think from here, we're going to call it a stream, though. It's, I mean, it's only been an hour and a half, sure, sure. But, it's been a hell of an hour and a half. You know, this is excellent ec episodic content. Right Definitely. Here. We didn't even end on a on on a cliffhanger. We ended by killing a god. Large... <laughs> we killed we killed large large men big make big huge. No. Try another god. Thistle make thorn body. That's another one. <laughs> I could get the list of the many names of large men. I don't know if we can. I think, for my part, I'd like it more if it wasn't quite so ludicrous. You mean... Naraka of an hour and a half. Very true, very true. You know, I... Ben, it's... It's hard to describe why Azura's Wrath is awesome. Because it's... it's the ludicrousness adds to it. It... It gets... It's absurd, and yet it seems so... Normal. Like, I, I would not call this game, I, I would not dare say that this game is a ludicrous game because it kind of fits within its world. And again, with hin Hindu, uh, Hindu and Buddhist, uh, like, even if you vaguely know a little bit about that, and, and I will, I will admit that my knowledge of either is, like, is rudimentary at best, I will give you. But like, considering within the world of of even those religions, it kind of fits. A lot of the stuff that they use fits, which is kind of weird if you think about it, really. But again, Oh, I know, I know, yeah. It fits well, but you kind of would like it to be toned down a bit. I can understand that. A little bit of toning down. It, for my sake as well. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry that you, you get vertigo. That's very, it's very weird. And I wish, I wish you didn't. You'd enjoy that sort of thing. Yeah, it's, it's one of those weird things that, you know, I can't control. And it's not really a big deal. It's stuff like uh, like how some of my nightmares sometimes evolve, you know, involve me spinning out of control in an empty void. That is stuff very like weird. that. You know? That is very weird. It's yeah. it's it's the sense of motion and size. Fair enough. You know, the vastness of everything. The fact that you punch the punch the man's finger so hard that his entire arm and then body exploded in in weak orange glowy bits oh yeah oh yeah we do uh we do our, how could something work. so small do so much damage oh that's and in the, the end that's the theme of this game yeah a lot of themes yeah i mean yeah again they, they kind of cover why and everything but yeah it's very it's very interesting uh everything about it 
And you know, uh, Ben, like, Large Huge Man, he's the only one that gets Large Huge. I, I don't think I'll ever, like, that's not really a spoiler. I mean, it is and it isn't, but like, he's the only one. That was his power, right, is to, to go inside. So it, again, it fits, but I can understand, you know, your apprehensions. But again, again, I do apologize. I should not be taking you, taking any longer. Um, this is, uh, this was the end of the stream tonight, and thank you so much for joining. I might do an early morning stream because, well, I work at night tomorrow and Wednesday, so, yay. 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 Nighttime right. work. Thank Closing. you, everyone, for joining. Uh, thank you for the new followers, and you guys have yourselves a wonderful day.